I'm currently logged in on Awesome Window Manager, which is on TTY1. And a common scenario might be that my wife needs to use the computer and I'm using it. And so she'll sit down and type Control-Alt F2 to go to TTY2. She'll log in and StartX runs automatically and she uses Cinnamon Desktop. And so then that runs at the same time as Awesome Window Manager. And just to show that you can have even more desktop environments, we'll go to Control-Alt F3 to go to TTY3. And uh, this is my older son's profile. Now he uses the laptop more these days. So that's why this is a little bit default. But uh, this is XFCE, so it's running at the same time as the other graphical environment. So I'll go and I'll hit Control F1 to go to TTY1 to go to my profile. Once again, we'll go Control F2 to go to Cinnamon. Then back to my profile again, just to show that you can switch really quickly between profiles. So it's really nice to have. So this is how I have this set up. First off, you want to run systemctl set default multiuser.target, and that would be run instead of graphical.target, and that's assuming you have systemd. Uh, otherwise, you can just disable lightdm, or you can do both, and that way lightdm doesn't start up. So you don't. You, it, so we're changing this to where you don't have a display manager. Uh, but I keep light dim installed just to troubleshoot things. I find myself in where I end up using it sometimes. And you may have a different display manager. All right, so when you run start X, it will prompt you for a password again. Uh, after you log in, if you have something like GNOME key ring, and I know Nextcloud, for example, uses uh, the GNOME key ring and other applications do uh, for authentication. So what you can do is just use the LightDM uh, configuration for PAM. And so if you go here, this is, if I run uh, checksum, md5sum on both of those files, you can see it's the same file. And I just backed up the original login file. So run those and that'll keep you from being prompted again. You know, you'll log in and your user, username, password, and then it's annoying to have to put your password in again. So uh, you don't have to do that if you use a display manager like, like, like LightDM, but this will avoid that from having to happen when you run start X. All right, and so it's tedious and unnecessary to have to type, literally type start X every time. So my wife and I both have this in our dot profile. If there's no display, if it's of zero value and the TTY is TTY1 or TT, or, you know, that's the double vertical bars, or it's TTY2, then it just runs start X automatically. So I type in my username and then my password and then I hit enter and then it will run start X there. So let's see. So this is my wife's X session file. It's just exec cinnamon session. And so uh, X session and Zenit RC are similar. There's also X session RC. That one might be just on Debian. I need to double check that though. Um, and so because she's running a desktop environment, a full-fledged desktop environment, all of the auto start directories, all of the auto start items in those, the .desktop files, those automatically load. And so that's, that's loaded up with cinnamon. And so she uses an accession file, and that's going to be more compatible than uh, Zenit RC with a desktop environment. I think, I think some things were not loading, did not load when I tried out Zenit RC with cinnamon. So go with accession. And so let's see, this is my the accession file for my son. And here he is. I'm logged in there to his 
uh, profile on the terminal and you can run exec start XFCE4 or exec XFCE4 session. Yeah, so the auto start directories do work. Yeah, so this was interesting. Because his desktop environment is not the primary one, the X session file was necessary. Otherwise, I couldn't I couldn't get start XFCE to work. Um, it threw an error and it would not run. However, if you're logging in and there's no X session file there at all, and you just run start X, it's going to load whatever the default desktop environment is. So on this machine, it's cinnamon. And I'm not sure precisely where that is specified. But I do know that uh, when you see run XFCE, it used to be the default one. And so if you had no X session file, then it would just load up the default one running start X. Uh, so now we get to my configuration, my startup <coughs> system. And of course, I run StartX as well. And but I use a Zenit RC. And then at the end of my Zenit RC, my awesome window manager loads. And so that let's see. Well, I'll just go through my list here. So uh, in in Zenit RC, like for example, I need to run XRandar from there because I have some specific scripts or a script depending on the uh, computer that needs to be run. And so that needs to be loaded. The layout of the screens needs to be loaded before my awesome window manager. So awesome knows how to lay everything out on top of um, the display layout, for example. So yeah, I run awesome. I load that at the end of my Zenit RC. And I'm not going to bother opening my Zenit RC. It has a lot of stuff that I load up there. I think I showed that in one of my previous uh, videos. I think it was particularly the one where I went over my awesome window manager configuration. Um, and then I've got a lot of other startup commands uh, and startup programs at the bottom of my rc.lua. And these are the ones that I need to load after awesome is loaded. So I think I have like the next cloud client that loads uh, and other things that that I want awesome to be loaded and then I'll load those so. uh, and also I want certain ones to reload every time that I reload awesome you can just reload awesome right in place you know without logging out of X or closing your X session yes because it's a tiling window manager it doesn't pick up the auto start directories And so I use Zenit RC because certain things didn't work with the X session. For example, this command did not work. Setting up the English US International Keyboard did not work from uh, you know when I used X session instead of Zenit RC. And then likewise, X session loads some other things that I didn't want loading. So for uh, my tiling window manager, for awesome window manager, I use Zenit RC. And then if it's a normal desktop environment, we use uh, X session the accession file. So it is a great setup. There's n There are never issues with me being logged in on TTY1, for example, with Awesome and my wife being logged in. You know, she'll, she'll come over and need to use the computer. She'll switch to TTY2 and uh, have Awesome, have, have Cinnamon desktop running at the same time that I'm running Awesome. And there there's never an issue. And even sometimes my son will come in my older son will come in and he'll want to work on tty3 using xfce he doesn't do that as often but so then we've got three different graphical environments on three different tty sessions and it all works it all just works fine three different graphical environments three different users logged in three different tty sessions so and the switching is fast you just press the control f1 f2 f3 and it just switches right to it so it's really nice uh, one thing that uh, I make use of sometimes is I can keep, if I have audio going, if I'm listening to a podcast and I've got my headphones going, that they can be used all throughout my house. Uh, I can keep that audio running while my wife is logged into 
you know, the second TTY session or whatever TTY session and is using her, her environment, her graphical environment. The only issue is if it's a graphical application and it is streaming from the internet, the audio cuts off. So it doesn't, the graphical applications do not continue to preserve internet access when, for example, if she's on Cinnamon on TTY2 and I'm on Awesome Window Manager on TTY1, um, if she's, you know, using her, her session on TTY2, it won't stay connected. So if I'm streaming from the terminal, it'll stay connected. Or if I've downloaded a video and I'm playing that, that'll stay connected. But uh, let's see. Well, I already have this loaded. So I posted about this and no one was able to help me. But you're welcome to help me if you know how to keep that connected. All right. Well, have a nice day.